Hello, I am delighted for the opportunity on this auspicious occasion of the birthday celebration of His Majesty, the Emperor of Japan, to say a few words on the commendation I received from the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Japan for my work in Judo. It is with great honor and humility that I accept this accolade. What makes it even more special is when it comes from the government of the country where this international sport and way of life originated. I give my deepest and most sincere thanks to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Motegi Toshimitsu, the government and the people of Japan for this recognition. I also thank the Ambassador of Japan, Mr. Hirayama Tatsuo, for considering me for it. I started judo in 1986, exactly 35 years ago from the onset of my time at university in New York City. I've seen and done lots, traveled to many places, met many people. Upon reflection, what stands out in my mind is that people go through a profound change when they do judo. It enables, and I say sometimes, forces you to become a better version of yourself. Some of these qualities are highlighted in the Judo Moral Code. It's hard and even painful at times, but after a few months of training, a lot stays with you. After a few years, it's embedded in your DNA. A eureka moment in my 35 years of continuous Judo practice, and I have to say, never for one day was it not part of my life. It came during my second visit to Japan in 2012. I was invited by the Embassy of Japan to be part of the Japan Foundation Exchange Program. There I saw regular police officers teaching children Judo. And that was in the police station in Suginami in Tokyo. This was what the police did all over Japan to engage the young people in communities. Just as in any dojo in the world, the kids were attentive while having fun, and they were unreservedly respectful to their teachers, regular police officers. It was no surprise when they told me that the kids and parents in those communities were just as respectful to those teachers in the streets, regular police officers but maybe with some fear also. That was a defining moment in my judo career. I was going to get judo in the police service here no matter how long it took. This was not just going to change the police officers and the kids that they taught. This was going to fundamentally change the whole dynamic of the relationship between the police and the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I am pleased to inform that thanks to Ambassador Hirayama, his staff, and the courage and foresight of our police commissioner, that I am about to teach judo to the first batch of police recruits for 2021, with the help of other instructors at the Queen's Park Judo Club. I am eternally grateful to my teacher and judo father, Mr. Shina Kiyoshi, eighth dan Kodokan for his guidance during my university years and beyond. This set the foundation for my lifelong career in Judo. I'm also grateful to my parents who supported me and put up with a son that chose this unconventional career path. It's a far cry from finance, which I chose as my major at university, and I thank God that I did. With that said, I take the opportunity to wish His Majesty the Emperor of Japan, happy birthday. And I wish him and his family many more in good health. Thank you.